I remember being in my grandma's kitchen, tugging at her apron, asking for just a little taste of whatever she was cooking. Granny, may I lick the spoon? Is the cake done yet? Now it's my kitchen, my children and grandchildren, and even my husband tugging at my apron for just a little taste of whatever I'm cooking. Hello, I'm Coco. Now come on into my kitchen where every batch is made from scratch. Hello. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Cooking with Coco, Keto Style. How is everybody doing? I've got another good one for you tonight. I know, I always say that, right? But really, this is a good one. Guys, this one is coming from my second edition cookbook. We have two delicious recipes, easy breezy, that you must, listen, 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 you must try this one, okay? We're gonna be cooking the keto cheese, cauliflower, and the keto meatballs that are just amazing. Guys, listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna open up with a word of prayer, and then we're gonna get started tonight. I have a special guest, my friend, my cousin that won the opportunity to come on with Cooking with Coco. Her name is Sharon Banks. She drove all the way from Conway to be here with Coco. We call her Peanut. You know how everybody in the country got a nickname, right? I'll let her tell y'all what Coco's nickname is. But we're going to open up with a word of, word, 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 a word of prayer. And then we're going to get uh, Peanut Sharon Banks on to join Cooking with Coco. Dear God, we come thanking you for another blessed day, God, a blessed week, God. Lord, thank you for your provision, God. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy, God. Lord, we thank you for all that you do for us, God. We ask you to bless the viewers, God, and bless them in a mighty, mighty way. God, you know what they stand in the need for, God, and for that we say thank you. God, we ask you to bless the food for the nourishment of our bodies, and we ask all of these things in Jesus' name, amen. If you have your second edition cookbook, I hope that you have gotten your ingredients so that you can come on and cook with Coco. I had a few viewers that said, listen, I got the cookbook. Is it in there? Yes, it is. Page 32 is the keto cheese cauliflower. And that page 38 is, are the delicious, amazing meatballs. Come on now. Let's cook with Coco. Miss Sharon Banks, come on and join Cooking with Coco. Y'all better come on. Yes. Yo, hey. Hello. Hello. Yes. This is my guest for tonight, guys. She's going to cook along with Coco. Yes. How so, are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It is so good to see you. It is, and I'm glad to be here. Well, thank you. Listen, when we were growing up as little lads. Now, how are we cousins? How are we cousins? My mom mm -hmm. and my mom and your mom uh -huh. first cousins. First cousins. Yes. Two grandmothers. Sisters. Sisters. Yes. Y'all yes. hear me talking about Betty Ann Rice. Listen, her grandmother, Jessie Mae Clemens. Clemens. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Two of the same. Immaculate, wonderful cooks. And hey, that's where we picked yes. up what we do. We and while we, we love to cook, don't yes. we? I am so good. Let me ask you this. Peanut, <laughs> do you watch Cooking with Coco because I'm your cousin? Or tell me, why do you watch Cooking with Coco? No, I actually watch Cooking with Coco because I love to cook and I love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good reason. And you know what? I try my very best, Peanut, to always. But I know, yeah, you have to be careful when you say always. But literally, I try to always make my viewers feel comfortable in cooking some of Coco's dishes. Mm -hmm. I make them easy breezy. They, they are. They really are Very easy, easy breezy. Very mm -hmm. simple things mm -hmm. that you have at home in the cupboard. Yes. And you know, you told me, you had texted and told me that you, since, the, since day one, you have watched the show. Yes. And you have cooked almost every dish yes. that I've cooked on a, on a Friday night. Yes. That's pretty amazing. That just made me feel so warm inside. I was like, look at this. And it was delicious. <laughs> Every time. Every time. So listen, do you have your second edition cooking? I sure do, and the first. All right, see that? Thank <laughs> you. All that love, look, all that love. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, not just for 
family, but friends and viewers, people that I don't know that have supported this cookbook. Guys, listen, if you do not have your second edition, get it. Did you hear today? It? Today. Y'all better listen to my cousin. Simple, up. quick, and easy. easy. Yes, always. So we're going to get started with this, the first dish, and this is going to be keto cauliflower yeah. mac and cheese. Yes, tell them what's in it, uh, cuz. Okay, this recipe consists of two medium heads of cauliflower cut into small pieces, a half an ounce block of cream cheese, two third cups of sour cream, one package of Hidden Valley Original Ranch Mix, 10 slices of cooked and chopped bacon. Wait a minute. Bacon. Did you say bacon? Bacon. Oh my goodness. She said bacon. <laughs> yes. She said, uh, y'all know Coco loves bacon. Okay, carry on. Okay, and then we'll have one fourth cup of diced scallions. Yes. One cup of cheddar cheese. Yes. Now, the nutritional value of this. Come on, pick up. It's 446 calories. Uh huh. 38 grams of fat. 17 grams of protein, yeah, and 10 grams of carbs. Only 10 grams. Only 10 See, grams. We, let's get with it. Now, so Peanut, I have the recipe right here. You have already cooked the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. So she, she mentioned two heads. So she has the two head already cooked cauliflower, and then we just want to dump. Right. So you have your sour cream. Uh huh. I'm sorry. Let me get your spoon. Okay, we want to dump the, the sour cream like so. Then she wants to take her um, Philadelphia cream, cream cheese. cheese. Yes, come to the middle just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Uh-huh. And your bacon. Oh, your bacon. Yes. Let's now, get our bacon. This is the yummy part. Come on now. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes. Bacon is good on everything. And then you want your, okay, your cheese. We have our cheese. cheese. So we're gonna put some in and then we're gonna toss it once we get the casserole, the okay. dish in the casserole dish. So we'll yes. put just a little bit more in. Yes, very good. There cheese, you go. cheese, cheese. And then you want your scallions or your red or your onions. Red onions. Mm -hmm. Right. You said be creative? Yeah, that's what I tell you. All the time, guys, when you're cooking, you always wanna make it what? Creative. Creative. Your make own. it your own. Yes. Now you wanna get your seasoning. Okay, and this is what we're using, okay? It's the Hidden Valley Ranch Original Mix, okay? This is it. Delicious, make everything good. And now, Peanut, then you just wanna take um, your, your masher and mash everything up or stir very well. Let me get you another spoon, all this goodness. Come on now, oh, yeah. we're cooking with Coco. Yeah, there you go. You're doing it like you're doing it, like a mashed potato, if you will. Yes, look at all that. Do you smell it? I smell it. The onion smells smell delicious. I know, right? <laughs> yes. And again, guys, making this your own, you can always do what you want. Listen, it's like a mashed potato, a loaded down mashed, mashed potato. potato. You can <laughs> add chicken. We put the bacon. You can add um, mushrooms. What else what could you add in this? Well, let's see. We have the bacon, the uh -huh. mushrooms. Mm -hmm. You got your cheese. Your cheese. Your onions, onions, you got your sour cream. That's what be good. You know, you can it. put you can put green onions. You can even put like yeah. bell peppers, whatever. You can just make it your own. Kia said more bacon. More, more bacon. bacon. Yes, <laughs> for sure. More bacon. Okay, now Pina, take your spatula and then do it. Do a good stir. Okay. And then what, when while you're doing that, I'm gonna spray the casserole dish. I have the oven set on 350 degrees, so I'm just gonna spray this with some cooking spray. Oh yes, this looks delicious. And it smells so good just standing right here. I it can does. eat it. Because really, listen, the, the cauliflower is ready. Right. It's it's all because we you wanna eat? No, okay. We're gonna no, wait. We're wait. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're wait. So you got it all stirred yes. up really nice. Oh, one more thing. We wanna take a little, and I, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead. Just, we're gonna add this a little salt just to kind of pull out all those great flavors, and we're gonna add some black pepper. Look at that. Mm, that smells Ooh, good. That smells delicious. It looks delicious. Hey, Sharice Perry, Bertha Jones. Hey, and Sharice. Did you know Sharice? Yes. Yeah. Hey, Sharice. She likes to eat my dishes, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Sharice, thank you for joining us. Your girl is right. She's cooking up with Coco tonight. Yes. It that looks looks so delicious. good. Now, I'm going to move that here, and then you just pour everything in there. Can, right. you, can you pour in? in? Okay. Yeah. Oh. We got this. Oh, we got this. Yes. 
Look how amazing. It's so easy breezy. Very easy and simple. Yes. Very, very. And another thing I was thinking, you know, listen, we can also, then you just spread it. You don't have to be all fancy rancid. Just kind of split, make it even proportion. Then we're going to sprinkle a little bit more cheese on it. We're going to put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. Okay. Until that cheese is nice and melted. That looks good. Yes. Can't wait to taste it. I know, right? It smells so good. I have been waiting on this. You have. All week long. Oh my goodness. I am so glad that you're here. We need to get together more. We really yes. do. This is just, um, it's not right. <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> Both of us can do better. Right. And you want to just kind of sprinkle your cheese on top. Okay. Yeah, just evenly. Yes. You think you need a little bit more? A little bit more. Okay, I'm going to get some out the refrigerator. I'm going to step to the side. Ask a question, director. So, this almost looks like a uh, potato casserole. Yes. Does. Yes. It does. It does. It does. It does. It's just it does. cauliflower instead. That's it, yes. So that makes it healthier. Yes, yes, That's the healthy does. part. Okay. Yes. So you can still have delicious meal, just fix the healthier way. That's right. Uh huh. And then listen, this is keto style. So everything we put in here, it's keto friendly. And who doesn't love cheese? Uh, and more come cheese. On. And, and don't forget the bacon. 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 <laughs> bacon. bacon. Yes. So now she's got all that prepared. Now if you take your towel and we'll just kind of that up right there, I'm gonna put this in the oven. We got the oven set on 350 degrees, so in about 15, 20 minutes, we're going to be ready, ready. And then you can just sit that okay. over in that pot, and then I will, um, we're going to get started on the next dish. All right. Look at us, both of us, wife and sister. <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen, listen, listen. Uh, it's just an honor to have uh, Peanut here tonight helping and cooking with Coco. My mom is here tonight. She's in the house. She's always in the house. And she said, what are you, well, she's just going to be watching, right? I said, no, she's going to be cooking with Coco. So are you here cooking with Coco? Cooking with Coco. We're having a ball. Thank you so much for being <laughs> here. Listen, uh, Cynthia Hill Vaughn is watching. Leah Metcalf, you're watching. Hey, y'all. What y'all cooking? Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Step to the side just a minute. Mm. That pepper got in my throat. Okay, we're going to go to page 38. In the second edition, this is the Coco's famous keto, keto meatballs. meatballs. Now, guys, what's in this keto meatballs? Tell them what's in it, uh, Peanut. Uh, we have one pound of ground beef and sweet or mild Italian sausage, mm -hmm. two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning, and the salad shaker, mix shakers. Yes. A fourth cup of beef broth. Yes. One jar of tomato sauce or marinara sauce. Yes. Your choice. Yeah, your choice. Tell them about the nutritional value now, per serving. Nutritional value. <laughs> this is the good part. Yes. <laughs> 224 calories. Only. Only. Yes. 79 grams of fat. Uh huh. 26 grams of protein. Yes. And 159 grams uh -huh. of carbs. Yes, yes. This is a good one. Guys, let me tell you, let me tell you. So, what we have here, we have. Uh, half of the sausage and half of the ground beef. And now what we want to do first is put our butter over in our skillet. Okay. And take you, look at that peanut, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't have, yeah. And then we're just gonna let that butter melt. Another easy breezy, so delicious guys, let me tell you. Yes. yes. And then, now, we did, this is what we did not mentioned to to the to the to the viewers okay it's not in the keto friend in the keto book but i always say make it your own right. so we're going to make it our own by adding some green. diced diced green, green bell peppers mm -hmm. okay and I love we have those. i do too and then we have scallions yes want that okay Hit you now you want to take a little not a teaspoon okay just a little bit more yeah black pepper and then salt to kind of just bring all those flavors together. Just a little bit more, yeah. Okay, now, we're gonna take our seasoning, our Hidden Valley Hidden Ranch. Hidden, Hidden Valley Ranch. Yes, this makes everything good. I promise you, it is good. It really is. Now you just wanna mix all that goodness. Mix all that goodness. And then, you know, you can just hey, have a I was just gonna say that. Since you do have this what I do at home. And, and, and <laughs> you know what, I do too. And you just can mix all that goodness together. All right. And it's and you can start. You'll start smelling mm, all that goodness yes. too. I'm gonna check the butter back here. Yes, yes. 
And we're going to mix it in real good to real get that good. King Valley yeah, Ranch in Yeah, kind of like when you're doing a meatloaf. Right. Okay, yeah. When you, you, do, you do the same thing. Now, <clears throat> the recipe did not call for the bell peppers nor the green onion. That's what I like. Y'all know me now. I love vegetables, and I'm just bringing color and a little bit more flavor. You think he got that all mixed up good? So let me give you your um, little spoon. Now, we're going to take this. I'm going to put it right here, peanut. Okay. Let's move that there. Yeah. And we have our melted butter. And then we just want to take some spoonfuls. And you take a little measuring spoon. That way you can... And then we just want to put our little meatballs there. Denisha is watching, girl. Nakisa ah! Bell and Sonia Perry. Nakisha. Hey, now, are these people that you Those know? Those are my friends. How about it? Y'all, thank you for joining us. <laughs> we are having a ball tonight cooking with Coco. This is my cuz, y'all. Come on now. <laughs> Let's cook with Coco. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we're just making little meat size, little, little, little meatballs. As if, and you know, you can do your, um, if you don't want to do meatballs, you can do a whole meatloaf, meatloaf, meatloaf. and do it just like this, the same ingredients. Never nothing thought about that. It. Yeah, nothing to it but to do it. Come on now, y'all okay, better come on and cook with cocoa. <laughs> yes. Well, well, every batch is what? Made from, from scratch. scratch. <laughs> yes. Did y'all see a box anywhere? No, ma'am. <laughs> No ma'am, press ham. <laughs> you see what we're doing? Easy, breezy, nothing to it but, but to, to do it. it. Y'all listen, if all you right. all do not have these ingredients, yeah, this would be a great um, meal for Mother's Day. Uh, great Sunday's dinner. Easy breezy. You don't snacks? Have, yeah, great for snacks. snacks. Great for snacks. Good evening lunch. Yes, absolutely. All right. so cool yeah, we are. You think we're going to be able to Fit put them in, in here? We can yeah. try. Yeah, I think we're doing good. Yeah, we'll think... get the rest of these. Yeah. And we'll make two small. Ones. There you go. Sounds yeah. good. Good deal. Yes. Hey, Carol Stubbs. DG is watching. Hello, ladies. Thank you. Now, we're going to just sit this back here. We're going to turn it up a little bit and let this do its thing. You're okay. Thank you. Now, listen. Now, once this has cooked on one side, we want it nice and golden brown. Okay. And then we're going to kind of drain some of the oil. You know how beef and sausage makes this a little oil. And sometimes it makes too much. So we don't want greasy food. Right. So we'll drain a little of that oil off. Okay. Yeah. So. Give that. Okay, Mom says she is ready to eat this wonderful meal. <laughs> yes, absolutely, Mom. It's going to be good. It's going to be another easy breezy. I'm going to give this to you. When, it's, when we got it brown on one side, then we'll flip it. So we'll just, and then let's, let's go on and check the stove and check the oven and see what the uh, keto is doing. So I think we put it at the bottom. Oh, okay. Oh, see, it looks it. delicious. Yes. Can you see that? Uh, Cheese is melting. Yes, let her see it. Oh, yes, yes. Look at that. All of those wonderful ingredients. Yeah, I'll let it come on. This is our mac and cheese, but only right. we're using cauliflower. cauliflower. We're doing it the healthy style, low carbs, good fat. Come on now. We got our meat back here. Can you see that, dear? Look at that. And oh, it smells, it smells delicious. So oh. good. Doesn't it smell good? Yes, it does. Yes. I cannot wait for my cousin to really. Did you have you tried this one? Have you tried the meatballs? Okay. Yes. This is a good one. Yes. This is a good one. Now, um, we did say in the recipes that you could use tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. I found that the marinara sauce mm -hmm. is just much more flavorful, and I um, I love this. My husband does. He's not a tomato man. He doesn't really care for red sauces, but when he tried this. And me using the sauce, and then I kind of wrap it up a little right. bit. He loves it. He's okay. Sandra, this is delicious. delicious. Yes. yes, delicious. So it's 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 doing this thing here. Now Please. I did do the cauliflower pizza crust. Oh, it was delicious. Was it good? Yes. Okay. Very delicious. Okay. I have not fixed. I need to fix that on the show. It I was really good. good. It was. It was. And it was good. simple. It was. Yes. Yes. Contest time. All right. Let's okay. read. It. 
tell me what Coco cooked last week? First answer, First answer wins a mug. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's see. You know what? I don't even know. What did I cook last week? <laughs> <laughs> I forget from one week to the next. Listen, I can't tell it. No, don't tell it. Don't tell it. <laughs> you can come over and kind of flip them now, Tina, and see what see what we're working with. Just need more time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But it's looking good. See, and this is very quick. It is. It's, it's, it's like your dumping game that you always talk, talk about. about. Yeah. <laughs> All you do is we're just dumping, letting those vegetables just kind of saute in that nice ground beef and sausage. Come on, y'all. Y'all can do this. Yes. If Coco can do it, you can do it. What did you say, Pastor? Where's the mug? Oh, it's in my dressing room on the shelf where the shades and stuff are on the bottom shelf. Thank you. Hey, everybody, if you don't have your apron, come on. Yeah. Look it with Coco. Look it with Coco. Let's see. Let's, let's <laughs> now. Turn. Is she <laughs> tightening me up? Yeah, a bit? tighten her up a little bit. <laughs> she got to look like Coco. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Now, again, guys, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Share, like, comment. I'll come back and check here and see what you guys are saying about the meal. If you have not purchased your second edition cookbook, you can go to my personal website, www.sandraagins.com, or if that's too much for you, just go straight to Amazon. You can type in Cooking with Coco Keto Style, and it'll Pop right up, okay? The ones that have supported me in this second edition, I am forever grateful. Thank you so, so very much. I've made it easy breezy. I promise yes. you. Very easy breezy. Easy breezy. Easy breezy. Yes, yes, yes. So thank you. Oh, show them the cup. And here's yes. a copy of the cup. Could yes. Coco. This is what you will win tonight. Yes. So do we have a winner yet? If you guys watched last week, but if you like me, once you do it, Hey, you lose it. I'm telling you, I, I, I really don't know. Okay, don't forget to um, my Instagram page and Twitter. And y'all, come on, come on, share, do do your thing. Okay. I thought we did. We don't. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, okay. Can you turn, turn a little up? bit more firm. Okay. Okay, turn the lightning. Okay. The lightning. Oh, they smell so good. Oh, they smell good. Oh, my goodness, yes. Oh, and I forgot, Tina, listen. Once we're done with that and we put the uh, marinara sauce mm -hmm. and add the broth to it, we can also add uh, some mozzarella cheese and just sprinkle that. Baby! That'll be delicious. Oh, my goodness. So good. Oh, yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. Can you see that nice and crispy, Tina? How it's just turning nice and crispy and brown. Yes. Come on. Y'all better come on, Peanut, and cook with Coco. <laughs> yes. We have two other um, guests that have won the opportunity to come on with Cook with Coco, and I'm excited about them coming on, um, Latonia Hill and Tip Cooley. They will be on uh, the end of the month and then next month. So I don't know what we're going to cook yet, but it's going to be something good. It's going to be something tasty. And, and I'll be delicious. It will be delicious. That's right. Listen, I don't, I don't like cooking food that I can't eat. You can't it has taste. Healthy, yeah, has no flavor, no taste. Who wants that? So listen, y'all better come on. Cook with Coco. Join me. Get your book. All the ingredients and recipes in that book. Girl, you going to love it. You're going to love it. You won't be sorry, okay? So if you need a different recipe, tune in every Friday, 7 o'clock. That's right. Y'all hear it? Y'all heard it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tina. <Gina. laughs> every Friday. And then you just gradually add to your menus, you know? Yeah, because I give you something different every week. Oh, every they week. Good. They do. They do. They smell so good. There we go. Oh, yeah. Turn that one. One more. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. See, Peanut's a cook, too, so she knows how to make it her own. Now, again, guys, if you guys don't like the onions and the bell pepper, then omit it. You don't have to put it there. I love vegetables, so I love adding flavor and color. Right. And then the presentation means everything to me. Yes. People do not like to eat food that looks bland. Mm. Tastes bland, looks yeah. bland. Come on, y'all. Y'all better cook with cocoa. I'm going to teach you, okay? <laughs> I'm going to teach you. This is looking so good. 
So I'm going to go here to pass you a packing uh, peanut, and I'm going to get a, a little bowl, because we're going to kind of toss some of the oil, the excess oil, OK? Smells delicious, look delicious. Oh, yeah. Okay.
just put the lid on here. Okay. And we're gonna set that to the side. And if you would too, Pastor, take the cup and put it in the in the little box for Cherie. Yes. And that's crazy that it's, it's a <laughs> friend of yours. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So now we want to, uh, you know, we you know we always want to taste taste the meal. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna let you taste it first. You're gonna let me taste it I first. I want it okay. to be a surprise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ta oh, hey, hey Tammy. Tammy. Tammy Cox. Tammy is a friend of mine. Oh, oh, okay. Hey Tammy. How Actually, are you? that's my sister. That's, that's your sister. That's my. Sister. That's your sister friend. That's my. Sister okay. Friend. Hey Tammy. <laughs> thank you for joining and watching Cooking with Coco. I mm -hmm. hope that you join next week, even though Pina won't be back uh, on the show, but she's going to be back at the house. I will be watching. <laughs> Please join in with us. Hi, Cynthia. Uh, George Lovelace, Valerie Smith said, it looks delicious. It looks great. And Ladybug, let me tell you, it's going to be delicious. It smells great. This kitchen is on fire, okay? Let me tell you. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to get a... Tina said she want me to try it first. Yeah, I want her to try it first. Oh, but look, Tina, look. I know. Look at all that good. Mm -hmm. You see how it's just making its own great? Look, would you? I can't wait. Baby. I might have to test it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <coughs> Excuse me. The pepper, that, that fresh pepper, yes. it's, it's still right here. <laughs> but listen, go on and get you a bowl. Let me, and let me tell you something. Okay. Now, you know, a few weeks ago, I showed you guys how to make this amazing uh, southern fried cabbage. Mm -hmm. So listen, you can have meatballs <laughs> without this cabbage. So <laughs> I did cabbage on earlier today. So we're going to have the cabbage. We're going to have the meatballs. Now, my mama and my husband, they like my buttermilk cornbread. Not keto friendly, so we're not going to really talk about it today. That's okay, but we're going to taste it. We're going to taste it. We're still going to taste it. We're still going to taste it. So, since we know that the cabbage is keto style, we're going to put that right there. I'm going to find a nice spoon. If you would give that a nice stir for me. That looks delicious. Doesn't that look good? We have and red bell The Keisha Bell said it looks good. Thank you. And Cherie says, thanks for the mug. You are so welcome. It is my absolute pleasure. Oh, my God. Look at these cabbages. Friend, look, a friend of my cousins is a friend of mine. How about that? So, Peter, give this a nice little twirl for me. All right. Oh, my goodness. Listen. Listen, listen, y'all. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> it's on and popping over here in, in uh, Coco's Kitchen. It is on and popping. Listen, I showed you guys a few weeks ago how to prepare the southern fried cabbage. It is delicious. I need someone to give me a dry towel so I can take the mac, the cauliflower mac out. You want me to turn it yeah. down a little bit? Yes, just, yeah, you can turn it down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look, look. Take the lid off so she can mm. see it, uh, Peanut. There you go. Okay. Delicious. Delicious. Look at that sauce. Ooh. Isn't it, doesn't it look amazing? And then look. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? Peanut, look. I can't wait. <laughs> I think I will taste. <laughs> <laughs> now look. <laughs> oh my Excuse me, I am so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna get a spoon over here so that I can get some of this mac. Now, I have my cabbage. Will you give me a couple of meatballs? Just kind of put them right in the middle for me, okay? Mm. Yes, and some of y'all better come on and cook with cup. Listen, this I'm not playing. Nice. Ooh, now see, you're trying you to hurt me. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, we, we did cheese. it again. We <laughs> did it again. We we did it again. Now listen, let me get my fork. <laughs> God, thank you for this food. We are going to have our southern fried cabbage. Wasn't on the show, but we cooked it before on the show. But it just goes with this. We have our meatball, Coco's mm. famous meatballs, and then we have our cauliflower oh, mac and cheese. Smells so, good. Thank you, God, for this food. Let me dig in. Delicious. Peanut. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Wait, let me let me try the meatball. Mm, mm, mm. I've had them before, but every time, guys, they get better <laughs> and better and better. Mm hmm. Perfect. Mm. So good, guys. Listen. Thank you all so very much for joining me and my cousin Peanut. Cooking with Coco. Cooking with Coco. And Peanut and Wee Wee. Tell them what to do, Peanut. Like, share, comment on Facebook and YouTube. And follow her on Instagram. Please do so. Love you guys. Until next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>